can easily rearrange your home screen by holding down on the applications and you can move them wherever you'd like. You can actually move one into another and it will create a folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a game folder here. It's named an adventure, but I'm going to go ahead and change that here in one second. You just open it up. I'm going to split the keyboard by just stretching it side to side. And this allows it to be easier to type in landscape mode and portrait mode. I'm just going to go ahead and rename this folder Games. Hit the home screen and it will lock that home, all the apps in the position that they're in. Uh, another thing I like to do is I like to add the emoji keyboard. This can be found in settings under general and keyboard and then you go into international keyboards and add a new keyboard. Once again that keyboard is called the emoji keyboard. What the emoji keyboard allows you to do is add clip art to your uh, iMessages or to your notes or to your Facebook, Twitter statuses, whatever. Um, also don't forget when you're typing you see words anywhere if you're typing them or you find them on the internet. Uh, you can hold down and you can select all, copy, paste, to find all sorts of options that will pop up there. Um, another thing in Safari, Google offers, if you look in the upper right hand corner, I'm just going to type in new iPad cost here and click on the first website that pops up. And I'm going to click on that Google search and I'm going to type in price and you can enter any keyword and it will find it right there on the page and highlight it for you. Now remember when you're surfing double tap and it will always bring you to the top of the page. And now double click the home button and it allows you to open your recently used apps in the order that you used them last. So that's uh, quite convenient for multitasking. You can also use gestures, four fingers, swipe to the right, swipe to the left and it also allows you to go and browse through the apps for multitasking. Also use four finger swipe up and you get the apps down there at the bottom again. Now this is an iPad and it does carry a ton of your information. It's always good to go into general and set up a uh, passcode. Make sure it's something you can remember and I also like to add something down here at the bottom that says erase data uh, after 10 failed password attempts. Um, so that way it will make it safe for those that are trying to break into your iPad and it'll delete your information. Uh, I like to get creative with my wallpapers. I usually go to Google and I'll just do a Google image search for anything I'm interested in. In this case it is typed in beaver. I have no idea why. But I'm just going to find a image that I like, click on it, and then I'll hold down on it and it will give me that option to save image. I'm going to double tap home button, go into my settings, open up wallpaper and brightness and I'm going to select my camera roll and I'll be able to use that beaver for either my lock screen or my home screen. I just selected it for my home screen at this time. Um, another thing is airplay. You can double tap the home button and scroll to the left and you can airplay to your Apple TV or whatever like that. You're just streaming YouTube videos. Now don't forget you can also lock your iPad into portrait mode or landscape mode by double tapping the home button and selecting that lock icon there. And you can lock it into landscape mode, portrait mode, and you just double tap the home button again and scroll over and unlock it. Now if you like to listen to YouTube music in the background, I'm going to start this video, turn it up here a little bit. Click the home button and the video stops, but if you double tap, you can scroll over and can continue to play just the sound on your iPad while you continue to um, do whatever else you were doing. Now it's also handy to take screenshots. To take a screenshot, here I'm just going to open up Safari and you just press the home button and the lock screen button at the top and it will take that photo for you of the screen. Double tap the home button, I'll put up my photos just to show you here. Click down on there, and there is the screenshot photo. Last but not least, I like to add shortcuts to the home screen. And to do this, I'm just going to go to, you know, whatever your favorite website is. Hit that arrow at the top and just put add to home screen. We'll let you name it whatever you want and give you an icon. I'm just going to hit done. We'll add it right there to your home screen. 
So that was 16 new tips for your new iPad.